family, welcome back. It is now the 22nd day of Vlogmas and we are pushing right through. So the question of the day is next. Stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So do not forget that the playlist for Vlogmas 2017 is down in the description box below. Go ahead and click on the playlist so you can catch up with all of the videos and all of the questions and answers down below. Okay, so now the question of the day is, what are eight things that guys wish girls knew? So of course, we're going to go ahead and jump in. So ladies, the very first thing is men love boundaries. He'll never tell you that he loves boundaries. He, he just won't do that. However, notice that your friends or no, how about this? Notice that when you see a guy and a girl out there or you might know like this mean lady, but she's always in a relationship and, me, and mean is what you what you consider to be mean, right? Because we all have dif different definitions of what mean could actually be to us. But you have a friend that you know is mean to her guy, and but she is always in a relationship. Always in a relationship. You might be the nice one, the go with the flow type of girl. Hardly ever in a relationship, right? Not 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 trying to throw shade or anything. Just just think about it. Men love boundaries. Any girl that's in a relationship, she is in that relationship because she has boundaries that she's given to this guy that she is with. They love boundaries. They'll never let that come out of their mouth. If they can run over you, you are not going to be the one for him. Give him some boundaries. Second thing is men will actually wait for sex. I know that out there in the media and just on the TV shows and the movies, they always show that the guy wants sex, 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 sex. Like sex is just all around him. It's thrown at him and they taking everything. That's not necessarily true. If you are getting with a guy that is looking for a relationship, sex actually comes kind of down the line. Now, is it still important in a relationship? Don't get that twisted. That's not what I'm saying. Absolutely, yes, it is. However, if he is looking for a relationship, he don't necessarily need to jump in the sack with you, with her, with her, with her, with her, with her, with her, because he is actually looking for one lady to do that with on a continuous basis. All right? So he will wait he won't pressure, he won't ask, he won't even bring it up if he's looking for a relationship. That's something that men want you ladies to know. Don't feel pressure that you're putting on yourself, ladies, about when you have on this sexy dress or if he takes you out for dinner, uh, not for dinner, out to dinner or whatever that you basically have to put out. That is not where every guy's man is. So just remember that. Like We have to refocus our minds about men and sex. Now, um, we actually both sexes want sex. We really, we really do. Um, quiet as it's kept, they make it always seem like the man is the only one that wants sex. And that's just not true. Women want sex just as much as men. We just have a tendency to be able to control it a little bit better. But getting back to this video, if he is looking for a relationship, sex is not the first thing on his mind. So keep that in mind. The third thing is after a guy falls in love, he is just as scared of getting hurt as you might be. Yes, let that sink in. He's just as scared as you are about getting hurt. Poor ladies, I know some of y'all might come for me for this one, but if everything that you have is name brand, everything from head to toe is name brand that you have, and, you, and this is now your first time meeting, he knows nothing about you, he knows nothing about your character, only thing he sees is this name brand, everything from head to toe, you can rest assured that he is not thinking that you are going to be his one. And here's why. The reason why is because <laughs> most men that have things going for them or most successful men, they want to hold on to their change. They don't want to throw it all away because that's what most men see that as is them throwing their money down the drain. So you have to be respectful of that. I'm not saying that you can't own any of this stuff. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is you have a better chance of getting into a relationship. And I'm not saying trick them. I'm not, don't, don't hear that. 
Don't trick him. If this is who you are, then this is who you are. Be who you are. However, I'm saying that if you are the person that has everything name brand, and I'm talking about us simple pimple, everyday Joes. I'm not talking about no movie stars, okay? I'm talking about if your wallet and his wallet will sit next to each other, <laughs> will he be happy and secure in knowing that you will not go out and just throw his money away on some frivolous stuff, no type of investment, whether in yourself or in um, like stocks, bonds, rental property, etc. Like, so he is definitely watching what you have on, especially when you guys are first meeting. Now, again, I'm not saying trick him, but if you can put on one or two items, go out there and have a date. Basically what I'm saying is let him start to get to know the real you then you have a better chance to be able to wear all of this stuff that you so love. Again, I'm not saying trick them. I'm definitely saying be you. However, you have to keep these things in mind because men are a lot more frugal and especially those guys who want to be successful or what we deem as successful. So if everything that you have on his name brand, all I'm saying is kind of scale some of that back. That's all I'm saying, sis. That's all I'm saying. The fifth one, ladies, is actually huge because we have a tendency to do this. And what I'm talking about is men wish that you would not put yourself down. Men wish that you would not say, oh, I look so fat today. Oh, I'm so ugly today. Do I look like, like, they wish that you would not put yourself down because they fell in love with your sexy or they are falling for you and your sexy. And so all of this builds upon you having confidence within yourself. Now, are we all gonna have down days? Yes, we are. However, if this is something that you are continuously doing where every time you put on an outfit, you're like, oh, I don't like the way this look. Look at my stomach, look at my stretch marks, look at this, look at the pimple. I mean, I got a unicorn up here right now. I mean, it's just, ugh, it's a mess, but I'm still cute now. So uh, y'all better get it together. <laughs> No, but seriously, sis, don't constantly ask him about um, what you see as your flaws. Your skin is bad today. You know, the dress is not fit. You, you're bloated. You're stretched. I mean, just he don't like when you put yourself down, sis. I get it. Every once in a while, we got to do what we got to do. Just not feeling sexy today. But this cannot be your character, okay? So reel it in, sis. Reel that in, okay? Reel that in. <laughs> the sixth thing that men want you to know is that after a breakup, guess what? He is just as down as you are, even if it doesn't seem like he is. I'll do a further video on that, but he is down just as much as you are after a breakup, even if he doesn't seem like he is. He wants you to know that. Number seven is that he cares way more about our approval and our acceptance as the woman in his life. Way more than he's ever going to admit. He cares about that. The eighth and final thing that men wish girls knew is that just because you love him. He knows that doesn't mean that you should be with him. Let that one sink in. So if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, make sure that you go ahead and hit the icon with my lovely face or the red subscribe button because here at I Love Me Me Me, I am supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships in order to increase the marriage rate while simultaneously decreasing that divorce rate. I will see you guys again tomorrow.